Alright, All right, first off, I'm going to give all praises to you, Howell. Let's lock him. Let's just get on the car. Alright, first off, I'm going to give all praises to you, Howell. By Shim, Al Shai. By Shim, Rakakodash. So, I'll y'all by Shim, Al Shai for allowing me. For allowing me to do another video through the spirit. So why do y'all buy Shimmy Al Sharp giving us this truth of worms? Double honor to our pops and elders, that great millstone, and salutation and blessing to the whole fillet. It's just gonna be a quick video. Click on the wrong shit. This is gonna be a quick video on uh how this truth, man, is uh it comes with a culture and what your how Shai was pushing with a lifestyle that that we needed to follow in these last days. And the same thing with the apostles and elders back then this truth is more than just you know uh putting the garment on is it's more than that it's a lifestyle it's, it's a lifestyle that is to be followed man we being followers of yahweh yahweh by shimmy al shai comes with a lifestyle and sometimes that lifestyle means letting things go sometimes that that lifestyle means being more disciplined that the, this the, this truth comes with a lifestyle it's the, the, the one you like on the scripture say that the lord yahweh by shimmy al shah made man in his image What's the, the image is a lifestyle a lifestyle that is pushed it's not just uh it's not just a uh, um you know just just something willy-nilly is a is a lifestyle just like the scriptures say the image of the beast the image of the beast is a lifestyle is a lifestyle that people follow after that is pushed out to the beast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this then it's uh right here. I'm gonna start with uh start with Luke, I think it's fourteen. This is Luke fourteen and verse twenty five. And there went a great multitude with him and turned and said unto unto them if if any man come come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sister, yea, his own life also he cannot be be my disciple, and that's a part of his lifestyle, this truth. That sometimes well, I'll keep going, verse twenty seven. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And that and that is the lifestyle that Yahweh Shai pushed to 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 the men that follow him, look in this in this walk. It's it's a lonely it's a lonely road. This truth can be a lonely road because you you have to forsake, and it don't literally mean hate. Like you fucking go because what the scriptures say, obey thy father and thy mother. It doesn't literally mean hate them. That means you kind of distance yourself from them. You you have a certain decorum with them that they may not like. Because your parent may, your family may tell you, "Look, bro, get the chip." And you got a nigga, you sound crazy. Like, nah. You, there's a certain lifestyle that comes with this truth, man. It's more than just putting a, on a garment. It's more than just calling the white man a devil. There's a lifestyle that that we are to to follow in this gospel, man. And and this is one part of that lifestyle, which is the the forsaking part. Some things you're gonna have to forsake in this life. To please Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, and that that alone sometimes is a tough pill for a tough pill for Jake to swallow. That oh well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to like what like what, what you mean by hate? Like <laughs> you know, Jake may not understand that at first. Like you know, well, I'm gonna listen to my mom. My mom, if my father tell me to do that, that you can't be the Lord's disciple. If your father tells you to take the take a take a vaccine or a chip. You should tell your father no, respectfully. I'm not doing that because there's a there's a more important mission at hand. There's a more important mission at hand. Let me get this. this is the Wisdom of Solomon. Um, I'll start at one. Wisdom of Solomon one and verse verse one. Love righteousness, yea, that be ye that be judges of the earth. Think think of the Lord with a good heart. And in, in simplicity of heart, seek him, for he will turn, for he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as as do not distrust him. So I'm like, uh, where is that? 
for forward thoughts separate from Yahweh and his power when it is it is tried, reprove us on why <laughs> you try the Lord, it, it reprove us for in for for into a mischievous soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So that's that's another uh point of this of this uh truth. Trying not to sin. Trying not to do iniquity. You iniquity may be set in in front of you and you got to make a decision. That's why the scriptures say in the Lord's Prayer, uh, lead me not in temptation, but deliver me from evil. Because thine is the kingdom and power and the glory. Because there's the, the, our people have this mind state of this fast food mind state which Esau and Edom push onto them that they will do anything, and I mean anything, for the bag, bro. Anything. Anything to get ahead, rather than kill their mother. Rather ride on they niggas, rather to, to to the fact that the rap culture is a thing is a problem. That means these niggas knowingly destroy the black community with this thug culture music, the so-called black Negro Latino Native American that go for all y'all music is that thug lifestyle that kill a nigga, rob a nigga, cheat on a cheat, commit adultery, all that shit. That lifestyle is pushed in all our music. Sin, evil, wickedness. Verse, verse uh, 4, verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline, you have to be disciplined, will flee deceit and remove far and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. For wisdom is a loving spirit. And will not acquit a blasphemer of his words, for Yahweh is witness of his reigns, and and a true beholder of his heart, and a hearer of his tongue. So the heavenly Father knows, man. He knows all things. He knows your heart. He knows it. He knows when you say something, how you really feel about it. <laughs> that and that's deep. So the heavenly Father. That's uh, not super deep, but that the Lord knows. Uh, when you see, that's why it says he knows that he hears uh, he hears his tongue, but what he beholds the heart. The Lord knows how, your true intentions. You may say one thing, but your heart and your spirit, or your mind, can 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 be saying something else. Verse seven: For the spirit, for the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and and that which containeth all things have knowledge of his voice. You yeah, know that's that's basically the point on that. But, uh, yeah, uh, this truth is more than just, you know, calling a white man a devil, being being a, 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 just a sign holder. It's applying and, and returning to that old culture that which we had in the ancient world, man. The, 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 like the scripture says, I'll get that. Seek. This is, uh, It's Ecclesiastes. Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. Thus thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way. I'm just getting in the NIV. This is Jeremiah 16 and verse 16. Verse Jeremiah 6 and verse 16 in the NIV it says, This is what the Lord said. The Lord says. Stand at the crossroad and look. Ask for the ancient path. Ask where the good way is. Walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. But ye said, we will not walk in it. And that's what happened. Our people would not walk in the ancient path, which 
what is the ancient past, the ways of our forefathers, the ways of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, King David, Solomon, righteous men, following the path that righteous men have laid out for us, man. The looking at their lives it, through the scriptures and seeing how they dealt, seeing how they moved, seeing how they how they how they handled situations in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, seeking our ancestors, looking back and saying, "Oh, that's how they dealt with that." All right, but and gaining in wisdom and understanding and, and understanding our forefathers, man. And, and, and looking back and saying, all right, this is the, this is how we're supposed to move. This is how we're supposed to do things in this life. Of oh, oh, men of integrity, righteousness, not niggers, not fucking niggers, bro. Not beaner speaks, but men of integrity and righteousness. That's what the Lord is telling us to do. Seek the old path. Seek the seek the ancient. Seek the way of the east. In other words, to, to simplify it. Seek the way of the east. Because the way the ways that we seek now, the 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 lifestyle that is pushed now is a lifestyle of death, harmful, self harm, self hatred, everything, bro. It is it, is is harmful and a hundred percent harmful for for us, our children, our nation, all down the line, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ways of this Western society, the ways of the beast. Is nothing but death and harm unto our society, man, unto our nation. And the Halbai Shimei Al Shai is telling us to leave off from this way and to seek Him, seek, seek, seek as our our forefathers saw. Seek, seek after Him, and go after His ways. And Yahweh Shai gave us a platform how to do that. And then, of course, the apostles and 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 so on and so forth, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. They gave us a path of how to move in these times, man. Like the scriptures say, love not the world, neither, neither things that are in the world. Now, does that mean you just sit at home in, in a dark room and not go to work? No. But it's saying don't cling and love these things in his life because what all the things in his life are temporary. They're all going to fade away and they're all going to be, be put out. It's more than just... It's seeking our old customs, man. It's more than just putting on a garment. It's more than just being it's just a nigga in a garment. It's more than that. It's the way you move throughout the entire your entire life. This truth is a lifestyle, man. It is a lifestyle. It is going back to the customs that we once had. Get that. Jude, Jude 1 and 5. Is it Jude 1 and verse 5? It says, it says I'm in it, reading NIV. It says, though, though you already know all, all this, I want to remind you that the, that the Lord at one time delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who believe not. That's not what I'm looking for. Looking for it says stir up your pure minds. Second Peter's Second Peter's three. Thirty one. It's Second Peter's three in verse one. And the NIV says, Dear friends. This this is now my second letter to you. I have written both of them as as a reminder to stimulate you to wholesome thinking. I want you to recall the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the command given by our Lord our Lord and Savior through your apostles. Above all Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come, 
scoffing and following their own evil desires. The main point, he said, I want you to remember the thoughts. The basically remember remember the prophets of old and 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 remember the command that Yahweh Shai gave our our Savior. Look at the look at our forefathers, man. Look at the holy prophets. Same thing in Jeremiah. Look at the whole path. This is how you know that the apocrypha. This is how you know the apocrypha in the Old Testament go with the New Testament. Because what the hell is pa Peter talking about then, right here? Cool false, but <laughs> yeah, showing the validity of the Old Testament. You dumb dumb. But the, Peter is saying, look, bro, look at the old holy prophets. It's, uh, read, get in the scriptures, study, and and you'll see, bro. You'll see and understand. And he went to, he started going into another point about scoffers who come in the last days and goes into where it, coming of the promise. But yeah, basically the point is remember our old customs. Remember what our nation was looked at as before our fall. Look at it. Like it says in Daniel 1 and 4, it says men of science, knowledge, cunning. Don't, we're not just niggas, bro. Don't just walk around this, this truth like you a fucking nigga, bro. We're not niggas. These niggas in the world, they're niggas. They're niggers. But we we have this knowledge. We have this knowledge and truth, man. And we and we got to stand on that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and follow the lifestyle of our forefathers to the best of our ability. Of course, we're in the fall short. We're in the flesh. We're in this body. But we do our best. So this is just something real quick I wanted to speak on. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba Shimei Al Shai, Ba Shimmer Kakodash with that, Shalom.